everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Going through the challenges, we're on highbrow. Why even take uh, more time to, to take our time here, you know? We got flush. Oh, so it's gonna be like all the scatological related items. Alright, here's our seed. Again, I don't really know if this even works. It's gonna be hard to believe, but I seriously do have not looked up spoilers on any of these. I've heard some people talking about it. I mean, I'm assuming solar system has something to do with tiny planet. Um, our seed. 6, 7, N, M. 1 C E N. So at least you can play along if you, uh, even if it has to be a vanilla kind of run. We got number one Stinky Bombs, E. coli, aka Turdy Touch, and uh, Flush. This actually seems like pretty good. Number one, a lot of people hate. I get so many comments whenever I pick up number one. When are you gonna stop ruining your run with number one? Dude, I think number one is pretty okay. I mean, like, it has some obvious idiosyncrasies to it. But the, the rate of fire increase I love. And if you can just get some range upgrades, who cares, dog? Now, what I'm going to be hoping for on this run, I don't know if we'll ever, like, see it, because I don't know if we're going to get item rooms. Some challenges do not have item rooms. This one, it seems like they should block off, like, an item room or two, because you're starting quite strong relative to, you know, your average start. Although Isaac does start with a D6, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, do we fight like only poop related enemies too? Like I've never seen this room before now and I've seen it twice. We fought like a poop enemy just before Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna guess that we're probably gonna fight Dingle here All right, I was so right and uh, I'm a genius Probably the smartest man in the world the Nobel Prize for video gaming goes to um, Just cross out PewDiePie there and put in uh, Northern Lion, please All right now that I mentioned PewDiePie, the comment section is going to be total shit. I'm sorry. Okay. Talked to him a few times. I think he's a nice guy. His content is not for me. But he's he strikes me as a totally okay dude. I know he's made some jokes in the past. Anyway, I didn't mean to get into that. We're on the, we're on the highbrow challenge right now. Ball of bandages. I mean, it makes us look a little bit more presentable. I'm hoping that uh, the items that we get... Or maybe synergistic with this, like a, a huge range upgrade would be so good. And unlike an Azazel run, we actually can compensate for our, our bad range. Not that Azazel needs it. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, contract from below. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. We will pick that up. That was not so good, but that's okay. I'm still feeling great about that situation. Contract from below is... Uh, one of the best deal with the devil items for sure. One of the coolest new items in the game. No question about it. So no item room. Uh, that is fair, I'd say, because we started with number one and flush. I wouldn't be surprised if... I forgot to mention we had petrified poop, by the way. But I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, don't have an item room on our next floor. In fact, call me crazy, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't have item rooms over the course of this entire run. Now that I know we have petrified poop, we'll break all these poops. Um, yeah, I really wouldn't be. We'll see, though. I don't really want to use a bomb just to get that poop, but that's okay. Same with to you, mister. Uh, let's go. I think we could do this run just with boss items and the odd deal with the devil item. By the way, yes, I, I realize that I have not used flush. We should really be using flush because it'll give us so much money, but I like to save it for big rooms if possible. That's a good start. Uh, yeah, there's enough enemies on this room that I, I don't mind that. I think Petrified Poop gives you, if I had to approximate it, probably like a 50% chance to, to get a payout from poops. It's a, a value that seems to hold pretty well. Thus far, I think we've, we've been hewing pretty close to that 50% number. At least that's how it feels. We're going to fight our boss right away and hopefully have a good chance to get a, a deal with the devil. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to play fair. If they give me a... Uh, we might actually gamble a little bit. If they give me a chance to uh, replace... My, oh, we can only do blood banks. There's no gambling for like a, uh, well, maybe it's just a weird arcade. I don't know. Let's fight our boss. We can take it. Um, Yeah, if they give us a chance to pick up like mom's knife or brimstone or something like that, I might think twice, but I think I'll probably end up going with it. So we do have uh, the confusing bombs, which in a way is actually a bad thing when you're fighting monster because it makes it harder to hit him when he gets confused. But Monstro is still... I mean, Monstro's Law is Monstro's Law. If I wasn't familiar with fighting Monstro on the second floor, I'd have to, you know, take a deep look inside of myself and see what's wrong with me. Experimental treatment, I like a lot. Our range is even worse now. But, maybe our damage improved? Our range is, is terrible. I think it's worse. 
kind of hard to tell because you start from basically the bottom and we're still like, you know, at the bottom. Which I don't think is the point of that Drake song. But I have never heard it, so I don't know. Nick just references it all the time. Seems like if it was like started from the bottom, now we're here, and here is still the bottom. And that song wouldn't have the same kind of uplifting message that I'm assuming that it does, so... Yeah, I'm gonna guess that that's probably how it goes. So again, not expecting an item room on this floor. If we get one, that's a happy accident as far as I'm concerned. We'll see. Flush, hopefully I just... Mostly just want it to be ready for the next floor. Uh, don't really give two hoots about gambling on the arcade, but if we have some spare red hearts, we might as well. I mean, we're, we're a little bit low on HP because we traded for contract from below. Like I said, 50% chance to get the poop to pay out. It's worked out very nicely for us thus far. As you can see, yes, please do that. Thank you. Oh, uh, you want to get trapped in the fuck corridor? Well, I'm happy to oblige. All right, lots of red hearts here. We are up to 15 cents if we... If the game could find it in its heart to actually give us an upgrade. I wouldn't mind, there is a shop there. Okay, and a tinted rock. I would kill for the small rock right now. At least if we're gonna get close to enemies, we can do some damage. All right, well the spirit heart is very nice as well. Fanny pack, fanny pack seems like a really useful pickup for us right now because first off, it's half price, and secondly, I'm gonna go gamble my shit off in the, it doesn't really make any sense, but I'm gonna go gamble like crazy in our blood bank here. Or on our blood bank here. Which, should fanny pack not be giving me a consumable there? It did, it actually gave me an eternal heart, I think. Uh, and it also just blew itself up, so thank you for that. And it blew, us, it blew itself up before it could give us enough money to get the starter deck. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated there. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find one cent in here somewhere. I'm, I was assuming that would be our secret room, and it's not. Maybe we'll find one cent in here somewhere. That's some kind of sweet irony there. Single penny? Single penny? What if I blow you up? Maybe a single penny? Ooh, okay. Do we buy a starter deck? I think we will. It's not great, but it's good enough. And we should be able to get a lot of money in the future thanks to Contract from Below and uh, Petrified Poop. So yeah, we'll get Starter Deck. And we get Judgment. Good card. Not yet, but good card for now. Uh, or later, I should say. So we got some real problems on this run, but uh, an HP upgrade is nice. Contract from Below is real good. Judgment card could be great in the future. Flush is a good card, but our range is like... Absolute, like, horse hockey right now. It's awful. Curse of the Maze. Of all the curses to get, this one doesn't really bother me. We will turn some of these enemies into poop. There's two, you know, two schools of thought, I guess. We could turn the rooms where there's a lot of enemies, or we could turn the rooms where there's the most annoying enemies. Like on this, these enemies, fairly easy. I don't really want to turn them into poop. Like these enemies, fairly easy. I don't want to turn them into poop. The next enemies, kind of annoying, especially with the knockback. So we'll try to turn them into poop. That was a little tricky, but we made it work, and Bandage helped us out. Yeah, these guys. Alrighty. And we got two tarot cards. We can take them both if we want to. The Fool and the Fool. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll stick with one Fool card, one Judgment card. At least that can allow us to get out of the Curse Rooms easily. I am happy with this run. This is what I want out of Challenge Runs, is a, a run that's trickier than you would probably get, but doesn't go on as long. You know, a little bit of a... Yeah, we'll uh, we'll take the Judgment card with us. And the Devil card. Uh, a little bit of a... I want the runs to feel different, basically. The last run didn't really feel different. I mean, we just... We had Curse of the Darkness and Curse of the Unknown. I could see that being annoying, but... With any bit of luck, you know, you're gonna beat Mom. Nine times out of ten on that one, I think. If you've got experience in the game. If you're new at Isaac, I'm not trying to shame you. Oh... Northern Lion's trying to make me feel bad because I had to redo Pitch Black five times. Have you seen some of the dumb shit that I've done in my episodes? Like, I'm an idiot, okay? Don't let me get you down. I'm just saying, I think that was, uh, that was a nice little ap aperitif, you know, a little appetizer and a moose bouche if you will. I know my bouche is amused. Let's see what we got going on in here. Uh, I would love to get PhD. We'll see if it's, uh, plausible. This is shitty. Tell you what, please explode. That sort of worked. Stay away from me. Oh, just explode, please. Good. Yeah, I, I'm a little surprised that that worked out as well for us as it did. But it did. 
Uh, this this one's a little bit more interesting. I'm enjoying this one a little bit more. I gotta say. Even though I want to buy PhD, I can't bring myself to use a uh, flush here. I don't think flush works on bosses. Maybe I should give it a try though. Depends. If it's like the the husk, maybe it'll work. But just because he's got less HP per segment. Pestilence. Shall we give it a try? I mean, he summons silkworms. We might as well wait for like one silkworm to show up. I gotta get right next to this fucker. Might as well try because I gotta get right effing next to him, I guess. At least that hit. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah, I used it, and then of course he summoned an enemy immediately after. This is a really, really hard boss fight uh, when you have zero range. So let's take out these silkworms. Oh, you know what? I actually am gonna take advantage of our devil card here. One of those rare situations where Empress would actually be a lot better demonstrably than the Devil because we would actually have uh, the increased range from Horror Babylon. I think it's an all stats up anyway. But some stats, you know, maybe a little bit more up than others. Oh, if I just save some bombs. Contract from below. Where were my bombs? I, I asked for them. It's asking ye shall receive, not asking ye shall refrain. Please stop shooting green bombs. The flies are fine. I don't give a shit at all. Here we go. Oh my god. I can't get away. This could be, like... This could be not the end, I think. But it could be hard. This could put us in a difficult position. Okay, we made it out and we even got a spirit heart back. We got Bandage Girl, which is nice. Bandage Girl has better range than we do, which is also nice. Hmm, well this this room, um, or this floor, it definitely made me understand that we're probably gonna need to get a little bit stronger if we hope to beat Mom. Like, that Mom fight is gonna be real tough with, uh, with the tricks that we got at our disposal right now. Right, caves 1. Let's see if we start getting item rooms now. It's a theoretical possibility. Maybe they just took the first two item rooms away, I don't know. So that should be two Devil cards, so we should go pick up another one with us. Alright, fair enough. Uh, I guess we will not be getting PhD. No, thank you. There we go. Yeah, uh, we can't even get into our secret room, so we're not going to be taking PhD. And that's going to do it for this floor. A little scary. A little scary. I don't know how we're going to pull out of this one. I mean, if I if I was transported directly to the mom fight right now, could I win? Yes. Would I, what, what would I bank my odds at? Lowish. <laughs> Probably like, like it would be the wife of Peter Griffin on Family Guy. Lowish. Oh, Bandage Girl has charm tears occasionally. I think I knew that, but forgot it. That's a little bit of a bonus for us. A bonish. I really want to open that golden chest. Maybe when we lose uh, our spirit art, which will happen, uh, we we'll, we'll try it out. Hmm. I would say, like, if you put me in the mom fight right now, I'd give myself, like, a 50% shot. Let's hope that that doesn't have to happen. Because a mom fight really should be pretty easy. But I'm glad it's not, because this one's uh, it's definitely perplexing me a little bit more. Just like, you know, you rolled the dice on um, experimental treatment. It didn't work out. I really wish I had flush here. Might not work on the mini bosses, though. I know the deal, you're not supposed to shoot gurglings as they approach. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just touch them and turn them into poop though. How do you feel about that? We can do a little extra gambling here. So Fanny Pack will pay out with some good stuff. We're gonna definitely get the 15 cents here. Thank you for the key. Oh, and IV bag. IV bag could still be useful for us, but mostly I'm just excited that we picked up a lot of money there and didn't put ourselves too much in harm's way. I feel like maybe I'm not taking advantage enough of, uh, of, uh, E. coli? Turdy touch? Like, what if I took IV bag, and I hit myself with IV bag at the same time I walked into, like, a, a, a bunch of enemies? Why would I even do that with IV bag? Why wouldn't I just walk into the enemies in the first place? See, this is why I keep you around. So that you can, uh, you know, keep me honest here, because that would be a dumb idea. Wow, that was three damage against a bony. That doesn't feel good. No, you want? Nah, how about that? How you feel about that? Probably not so good, huh? 
The poop from Flush doesn't seem to really pay out. This has been laborious. At least we got one penny for it. I was gonna say, thank God we're not fighting greed. That'll teach me to get a little bit ahead of myself. Why would I even assume that we're not fighting greed? Because the game's being nice to me right now? No, my friend. Okay. We're almost done with that. I wonder if I just walked into him. You think he turned into poop? He didn't He didn't turn into poop, but he got hurt pretty quickly. That being said, <laughs> so did I. Not quite dead yet, though. Thank you. Oh, death card. I mean, these are really useful as we press forward a little bit. Just be careful here. That's enough HP to feel okay. Really, though, no bombs? Like, you gotta be kidding me with that shit. Assuming our boss fight has to be pretty close by. Oh, man. This range needs to come with higher damage. Otherwise, a bit of a, bit of a problematic position. Like, I really, especially on this guy, I don't like getting right up next to this guy's grill just to be able to do the slightest bit of damage, but we don't really have too much choice in the matter. And I'd like to maybe take, like, two death cards into this boss fight. But maybe a death plus a devil card would help us, like, diversify better, you know? Depends who we're fighting, though. We have death and judgment right now. You know what? Let's use this judgment card right now. We have the cash for it. We didn't get PhD earlier. He gave us a Wheel of Fortune, of course, because uh, this is... Uh, we have starter decks, so all pills become... Well, good thing I didn't buy PhD then. All pills become uh, tarot cards. I was going to say, I'm, I'm kind of happy with my trinket situation. Not really happy with the tower card. Oh, what about that one, though? Two of diamonds. I'll use that right now. Two of hearts. High Priestess. That's what we want. Okay. So we'll take High Priestess Death. That seems pretty good. Nice combination. You know what? I think the Death card's worth using here because we have a lot of them. Uh, but I, I don't think High Priestess is necessary. This is the Gertie that does not shoot. It only spawns enemies, which is more problematic for us. Those flies are going to hide behind and make it a little bit more difficult for us to uh, see when they're shooting. That being said, I think we'll be able to get through this relatively easily. Maybe even snag a deal with the devil. I don't know what I would want from a deal with the devil. Just give me like the speed plus range upgrade, man. I'll take it. I'll live with it. Stop spawning enemies if you could, please. And another spirit heart. And old bandage. That's our third bandage item. Does that create like a third level bandage girl? It does not. Sadly. I was really hoping it would. High Priestess. Yes. Two of hearts. Not so much. We do have IV bags so we could use two of hearts but not that big of a deal. Finally got one bomb. Feels good man. Well, what's better? Flush or bottle of pills? I think flush is cooler at least and it's more in keeping with the spirit of the run so I'm going to take it. Two of hearts, high priestess. Two of hearts, yeah, that's what we want. Not the tower card. All right. I'm not going to leave yet. Uh, this this floor has turned out a little bit better than it started, but that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> we found ourselves in a bit of a tricky spot, so let's do the obvious thing. Uh, get some bonus stuff via fanny pack here. I went a little lower than I should have. It's okay. Hopefully. Uh, and then we'll start gambling on these guys as well. And really, there's only one more floor, right? There, thank you. Oh, there's two more floors. Okay, so I don't want to go below 15 cents for sure. Uh, Callus is pretty good. I think I might replace Petrified Poop with Callus. Because it's really good. Try to take a High Priestess and a Satan card. or Sorry, Devil card with this if we could. Broken Remote, no thank you. And that's our last play right there. No bombs still. Alright, well, we're going to do a little bit more exploration because we can, basically. One bomb for a tarot card. Oh, we have Callus, so we can walk over the spikes now. There you go. Death and High Priestess. That's that's alright. I don't really want to trade a bomb for a tarot card, though. If I was going to trade a bomb, it would have to be, like, now that I'm thinking about it, for maybe, like, a Bang the Bang Dicky. Might just umch up the boogie at the end. I can also open up that golden chest that was back there. See, on most runs, I would have forgotten about... That sucks. 
I would have forgotten about the fact that we have Callus. And as a result, I would never have gone, ooh. I would never have gone back for that golden chest. And as a result, I would have missed out on the incredible glory that is a little bit more money and a key and a red heart. Still, you know, it's a, it's the thought that counts. So our money situation is sorted again. We actually do have bombs now as well. Uh, bomb for a tarot card, sir? No, I think like the high priestess plus death combo is really nice because if we save it, we can use it um, on the mom fight. We already we just fought greed in here. There's a Satan card or a death devil card in there. I don't know why I call it the Satan card all of a sudden. That's a new that's a new look for me. So we might end up like very much relying heavily on the two cards in our possession right now, which is why I'm happy to have them. But still, this is uh, this is a run that has turned out very fun. You know, this is definitely it's, they're called challenges. This one fits the bill right now. You can write that on the back of the box if you want, Ed. But uh, it's largely a result of the fact that uh, we did we got a bad roll with experimental treatment. If we had re-rolled it and gotten like full range or high range at least, um, wouldn't have mattered. We would be in a like. A, m a much better position, but it would be a little bit more boring as well. We'd be like, oh, I can beat it. Remember, I was like, a, the first or second floor, I was like, I'm pretty sure I could just beat Mom right now. No big deal. I could probably beat Mom with the starting equipment on this run. Probably like the best Isaac player in the world. Probably like lost all my humility. Probably best years are behind him. So does this work? I'm going to assume that it probably would have paid out by now if it was going to work. These guys can be useful to blow up. Sometimes they can be terrible, though. Let's see if we can sneak in there early. Okay, not so bad. The world card, okay. World card's okay. World card. We can see our item room. We can see our curse room. We can see the fact that there is a mini boss on this floor, and I would actually like to fight that mini boss. I want to meet that boss. Nick has infected me with his. Tim and Eric related jokes. I like Tim and Eric. I'll admit, but uh, oh, this guy's gonna drop a tarot card. This is probably the ideal boss fight for us right now. Hopefully, he drops a tarot card. I like Tim and Eric, but they're divisive, you know. Those boys need therapy. I was really hoping that'd be better than it was, but I'll take it right now and take the high priestess with us again. You want to try this? I'll try it. Ooh, ghost baby. The fourth worst baby item in the game. Actually, now that I think about it, ghost baby might be the worst. It's tempting to take two of hearts, but I don't think I'm gonna. I shouldn't complain, but uh, it was a bad bomb. Shouldn't complain, by the way. Ghost baby for free. That's an okay deal, right? I just got a free baby item. What is this guy complaining about? People in other parts of the world paid tens of thousands of dollars for a baby. I just got one for free. I was talking about labor costs, not like the black market, you freaking jerks. Yeah, this could end up being valuable, but it could also end up being like meaningless. Curse of the Maze kind of weirded me out there with its placement. That's okay, though. I'm happy to have Guppy's Collar. Doesn't really do too much for us in the meantime, but... Could end up saving our run, maybe. Although, if I respawn with like 1 HP, I'm... Pretty sure I'm bead the owned anyway. That spells boned or bowned if you want to use the other uh, spelling. Mm. If you'll excuse me, please. Thank you. Okay, I didn't want to fight the boss anyway. So um, yeah, I was thinking maybe we won't fight the boss. All right, here we go. Gish is gonna be such annoying, but hey, anytime we can get a familiar, and this is why I shouldn't have been complaining so hard about. Uh, the uh, ye old ghost baby, but anytime we can get a familiar, that familiar's range is not going to be gated by our own range. I'm going to pick that up if possible. Yeah, there we go. Didn't do any damage to Gish, but that's okay. There we go. This is what we want. Gish, stay alive for a little while. Don't jump. Put ourselves in a position where we can do some damage. I'm actually going to be like way too aggressive. And I'm going to try to get the, um, like, Bandage Girl Orbit damage done. Which is always a recipe for taking more damage than you expect. But 
If we could also finish the fight in like less than, you know, 20 years, that would be good as well. We're not doing that little damage, actually. I shouldn't get down on myself for that stuff. And I'm also saving High Priestess, so uh, we're, we're doing all right on this fight as far as I'm concerned. Oh, it's like super bright, by the way. I just realized that I didn't crank down the gamma after uh, keeping it there for the Curse of Darkness run. I'll pull it down in the next episode. I kind of like it this bright, though. All right, we actually did earn a deal with the devil. Can we, like, become Guppy? Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, maybe we'll fight Krampus instead of doing anything that you wanted. It's not necessarily so bad, though. What the hell was that? He fought, fired two lasers at the same time. That seems, like, illegal. Um, if we can get, like, Krampus's head... I was gonna say, they're, they're totally gonna give me Lump of Coal, because that's so worthless for me right here. Whatever, though. Free Lump of Coal. It's a shame that our range uh, is god-awful, but what can you do? All right, that was a bony. And of course, our one deal with the devil would be like the one item that's completely meaningless for us. But hey, it's okay. We're still in a good position. We got four HP, and we've got some good um, we got some good stuff to help us on the next floor, don't we? I say that. I hope I can kill these guys. Um, I say that asking for some some comfort, basically, but I mean it. Uh, I think our two cards will help us out a lot. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Let's try this first. Wheel of Fortune. Tell you what, just blow that up. Um, we'll buy the Spirit Heart. I bought the Red Heart, even though I just saw it pop up on the ground. We'll buy the Spirit Heart. We'll buy the Bomb. And we will buy Magic Fingers. Now, Magic Fingers are going to give us, uh, a, especially with... I wish I'd kept Petrified Poop now, but... Um, Given the amount of money that we have, Magic Fingers is going to be a great item for us. I'm going to try not to abuse it. I was going to say there's a penny back here. I'm going to try not to abuse it, but basically we can just skip over um, big rooms by paying like five cents. It's a great deal. We may actually want to use it more than I'm originally going to be comfortable with. This is our last floor here. Yeah, depth's two. Four cents. Four cents for that room. We got one cent back. Is that worth it? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. This room? N oh my god. I was gonna say not worth magic fingers. I'm immediately regretting that. We got hit four times. But we got two spirit hearts back. One, two, three, four. I think you can do that on three if you just um, don't use the magic fingers immediately. Now this is not gonna be that useful for mom. So I don't mind the idea of using it right off the bat here. It looks like three cents per room. We're getting a sack of pennies to pay out pretty regularly. You know what? I'm not going to buy the compass. Why would I buy the compass when we're on our final floor anyway? Presumably. We're back to full HP. We've spent a lot of money, but we've also we've made a lot of progress here, haven't we? One, two, three. Yeah. I don't mind spending three cents per room. That'll get us through another four-ish rooms. Although, in this uh, situation, we can probably skip that. If we'd gotten Magic Fingers earlier, I would be broke right now. But because we did... Ooh. <laughs> because we didn't, we're actually doing pretty well. Now we got five rooms to skip. One, two... Ooh, even better. Now, this guy... Probably not conducive for our Magic Touch. I got the touch... I got the power. Okay. Uh, well, E. coli wrecked his shit, but it also cost us our spirit hearts. One, oh, one, two, three. And yeah, okay, I'm ready to fight mom. Let's do this shit. Does high priestess even work against mom? I, I don't know. I'll tell you what. Death card. I don't want to accidentally drop it on me. Shit gets spawned. One, two, one, two. We're gonna be using it. Of course, we're gonna try to use it. Why not? This is our final room. Okay. We, we've already done almost all of our magic fingers action. Where are we gonna use high priestess? Let's. There we go. Uh, let's give it a try. Yeah, it, it stomped on me. I should have known. But hey, there's a red hard for us anyway, so we didn't lose out too badly. Let's try putting some bombs down. It's going to confuse the enemies. Might get lucky and, and hit a, a bodily segment. I think we did there. 
And we're using everything at our disposal that isn't tears. This is the this is a challenge that was, admittedly, a little bit of a challenge. It's looking pretty good for us now, though. That'll do it. Yeah. Get the trophy. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. We unlocked the Rune of Jera, which I believe are like tarot cards basically that you can pick up. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a little bit trickier. We had to do uh, you know, our own uh, kind of love there. Our own kind of strategy. But if you did enjoy it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Next time, we will be moving on to... Oh, that's hard mode, right? Um, we're going to be moving on to Head Trauma. Heard some people talking about it. Don't know what it is. But hey, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.